Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this version of Flappy Bird's mini tutorial series, we're gonna go ahead and look at adding game over, as well as an in-game UI for score, and then be able to add to that score when we pass through the pipes. And if you're ready to continue flapping, let's go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new UI, and I'm gonna go ahead and just add a new panel. So it adds a canvas and a panel. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this to an empty game object called UI. And we'll take this canvas and drag that down into UI. And I'm gonna call this canvas game over UI. Cool. Now I've got a panel in there. Let's go ahead and make that panel uh, as a kind of a blue color so that it kind of covers up the bird and let's, the opacity. And then I wanna go ahead and also add a Text Mesh Pro game object. So UI Text Mesh Pro. And this is just gonna say game over. Just so we have something there. Cool, so that gives me enough to have this go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this game object off. And then with our game manager, I need to go ahead and create a new FSM. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new FSM. And this is going to, let's go ahead and label the FSM here, detect pipes. Cool, so the first thing we're gonna do is to listen for pipes. So I'm gonna listen for a couple things. I'm gonna listen for the score, and I'm also gonna listen for if we hit the pipes. So let's do this. We're gonna do a trigger event, and we're gonna listen for a game object of a specific game object, which is going to be our bird. And on trigger enter, and here is where those tags come in play. So we're gonna to listen to if we hit a pipe, we're gonna send an event of game over. We're gonna add that transition. And we also need to detect, detect if we have scored. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste. So again, if our bird detects a collide tag of, in this case, pipe score, we're gonna create a new event that is going to be called uh, pipe score add that transition all right so if we score so if our bird hit, hits a pipe we want to go ahead and call game over game over cool i'm going to do a couple things one is i'm going to activate game object so the game object that i want to activate is my game over ui so i'm going to open that up and throw in my game ui and i want to have that active the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna deactivate the bird because we don't want the bird on screen anymore. The other thing that I need to do is to deactivate my pipe spawner FSM. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and type in FSM enabled. So enable FSM. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. So we're gonna use our owner and the FSM that we wanna deactivate is our pipe spawner. And we're gonna go ahead and uncheck enabled, which is going to turn that off. So that way we're no longer generating pipes. Cool. So that's going to get us halfway there. The next thing we need to do is to update a score. So we're gonna go ahead and drag off to pipe score. Here we want to add to score. So add score. So I need to go ahead and create another UI, which is the score. Let's go ahead and add another UI canvas. And we'll call this in game and in that I want to also add a text mesh pro game object so let's add a UI text mesh pro and we'll call this score all right and with that I'm just gonna type in XX here for the score and I'll need to go ahead and just position this real quick so let's just position this towards the top. So we're gonna update the Y axis here. Let me go to my score. And let's go ahead and just center that. And we can go ahead and bold it. And let's go ahead and just move it to the top of the screen. And I'm gonna set my anchor position so that it is top center. And then we should be good to go with our setting up our score here. Okay, so in our game manager, I need to create a score variable. So what I'm gonna do is create a new variable on my detect pipes. We're gonna have this be an int value, which is a whole number, and we'll call this pipe score. 
So currently it's at zero. So every time we detect our pipe score area, that our player goes through that, then we need to add to our score. So now that I have that set up, let's go ahead and int add. So we're gonna add to our int every time that we hit this state. So we're gonna add to the variable of pipe score and we wanna add one. And we don't need to do every frame. Then the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and do a finish transition and then go back to listening for our pipes. So here again, we are detecting if we hit the pipe or the trigger area or the score area. If we hit the pipe, it's game over. If we hit the score area, it's adding to our score. Okay, so we have our int add set up. Now what I need to do is I need to convert that number to be a text string. So we're gonna do an int convert, convert int to string, date this uh, pipe score, so we're pipe score. And we're gonna create a new variable that's gonna be a text string called pipe score text. So we're changing the number from a number into a text string. All right, so now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and update our text that's on screen with that number. So let's do this. We're gonna do this over in our listen for pipes. Okay, so in this, this very first listening state, we wanna go ahead and update that text. For us to update that score is to go ahead and just drag that score down into our state. And I'm just gonna update my text mesh pro. I'm gonna set the property. And what property is it that we wanna set? Well, we've got a big long list here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to where it says text, and we wanna update the string of that text. So it's what the actual text is. And we're gonna update it with the value of our pipe score text, okay? Now that we have that set up, if I play the game, you'll see that this is going to now be updated. And then every time we score, it'll change that number to be the new int value. So we've got the one, we got two, and then I game over. Okay. You can see that my pipes then went away and also my bird went away. So there we go. I'm absolutely terrible at flappy birds, but this gives you an idea of what you can do. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.